My name is Katerina Goodhart. I'm half English, half Italian, living in London. We came five years ago to Rashold Seminary, invited by Father Rector Alessio Meneses, who inquired if we could help him with the conservation of the artifacts here in the seminary. I realize that in Goa you have many, many, many beautiful churches, many, many, many beautiful artifacts, and unfortunately not enough people to conserve and look after this immense and beautiful heritage. So we said yes, but we were quite frightened by the daunting prospect of conserving and sometime restoring. The first time we came to Russia was in 2016 and we came here with our teacher Katarina Goodhart and as a team we spent just half a day just grasping um, the different artwork that is in Russia and um, what needed immediate care. So the first project we actually worked on in Russia was the painting of Dom Sebastião which is in the hall of patriarchs just in front of the rector's office and uh, when we saw that painting first it was completely uh, dilapidated there were big rips in it there was hard varnish it was uh, in a really bad condition and moreover why we started off with that painting it was also because on prompting of the rector that it Dom Sebastia was the funder of this college um, through the Jesuit uh, priests and there, were, there are very, there, they say there are three of such paintings and one of them is this. This is the photo of this painting before doing the restoration. You can see how, how the state of the painting was. There was a cut here from in between and there were many holes and I think it was not looked up to maybe from the beginning nobody touched it only uh, restored once. What we found out was that this painting was I mean someone had worked on it before we came here and was stitched up in a certain way that posed a lot of problems. The canvas was pulling, uh, there was dust from I don't know how many years that it hadn't been cleaned. So the first thing for us to do then was to stabilize the painting before we could even like you know start re-cleaning or anything we uh, had to sort of flatten it down. I'm Elena Bregenza Rodrik, our art uh, restorer. A member of the team, RSG. We have been restoring uh, paintings at the Russia Seminary. For the, we have finished five paintings, we have finished four paintings and on the way one is about to be finished. The painting that we are doing now was exactly in the state that you can see the painting behind me. In very bad condition, uh, restored by restorers and simply stitched and kept in place. It's full of dust. It needs, first, it needs to be, the stitches to be removed. And uh, of course we have to put lining, reline it and stabilize it first. Then we start with the process that we have been doing on the other painting of St. Francis Xavier. Or you use this acrylic to match the color of the art. You do not touch the original. Over here we can see in this uh, painting, the staging of the painting, how it was before. Uh, and over here we can see how the painting has been relined. You can see in this case we have a pretty line. And over here we have filled in where all the missing areas with the white touch. You can see the white color. And then we have leveled it, given a coat of paint. And then these are the stages where uh, we have been working so far. And this, has been, uh, this is not uh, the last, but still after cleaning we are finding more and more tiny holes which we have now filled in again. And we will be giving a layer of it. This is a portrait of St. Francis Xavier levitating in front of many people and is a part of his um, 
many one of many episodes of his life. And it was found in the sacristy here at Rachel, along with another painting by the same hand of St. Ignatius, uh, another episode from St. Ig Ignatius's life. There were four paintings. Uh, two of them have gone. They disintegrated completely, probably burnt. But these two survived just. They were in a very, very poor condition. Huge holes and uh, sort of rot had set into the canvas. There was a wasp's nest on the back of the top one. And, but the painting was like this. So then we have to flatten it, which she had you know, been doing with the flattening with the blocks of weight, tiny bits of damp. Um, sometimes we have to put a very mild heat on it through newspaper. And then when it's completely flat, it'll be ready for relining. Before we realign, we have to deal with all these big holes. Now, if they're small holes or tears, we can just try and keep them together like this with Japan paper. And this Japan paper is that paper there. It's very, very fine, and it doesn't show. It doesn't show through the surface of the front. But with the very big holes like this, you have to cut a patch exactly that shape. So Sheila and we have been creating as Sheila as Sheila is an archipelago of, of patches <laughs> which will go all the way around and they fit exactly in that hole and then they're taped on and then finally when it's all flat and finished and the, the seam is ready and secure we can then put a brand new canvas on the back. The brand new canvas is ready, it's been linen which has shrunk and then we shrink it again so we know that any moisture is not going to do this, make it move. There's glue on the back, the very old recipe, 300 year old recipe from Italy, which has a tiny bit of um, insecticide in it, nipogene, which is like a, like a disinfectant, so they're not going to eat it. And then that goes onto the back, it's completely smooth, like St. Francis. He's got a lovely, brand new back. This had to be relined completely in 2016 and the pair to it, St Ignatius, has been relined, sorry that was 2018, and St Ignatius was relined this year to 2020. So two years between the two relines and that's how long it has taken really to get this painting up to this amazing standard that it's in now. So all the tears and all the holes have been supported by the relining, but the filling and the very careful retouching of that filling and cleaning the original painting whilst not touching the original painting have been done by the students here who have been taught by the London School of Picture and Frame Conservation. There are a lot of missing paint areas where we have filled in and uh, leveled it and given a texture so that it matches to the original canvas of the painting. We have given a single coat of retouching to it and uh, we, are, we are almost at the stage of completion of this painting. So the problems that this painting presented were numerous. You had, apart from the extensive damage, you had to treat the wood, you had to treat the stretcher, you had to make sure that there were no more um, insects that could eat any more canvas, and insects wouldn't want to eat the new canvas, which is placed on the reverse. The retouching was done in water-based colours, but as I say, the original painting wasn't touched at all. It was then varnished a year later, after giving it time to sort of settle and uh, see what colours were coming through. And the retouching is done on top of the varnish if there were any problems in the original image. The really interesting thing about this painting, because it's a religious painting, you can't 
really expect to find a signature. But as trying to sort of guess the age, we have hints with the architecture and the decoration, the tabernacle here, which is gilded with pure gold. And of course, the image looks largely about a Portuguese saint with Portuguese followers. However, the textiles here on the front of St. Francis Xavier and the old cloth are uniquely Indian. They are not Portuguese. The men on this side have very distinct features, strong noses, strong faces, good thick beards and moustaches. And um, the, the fashion is from about 1590 through to about 1610. On this side, however, we discovered after really close examination from basically the Indian team who were restoring it and from us as well when we came in to look at it more closely, it's evident there's been overpainting on this figure here. And just underneath that overpainting is the sign of a lace collar that went all around this figure. And what is not a halo, but probably a headdress with a veil. And also the shadow of what would be the sleeve of a dress and the line of the dress, which went all the way down here. And here at the bottom, we see the folds of the original dress at the bottom of uh, where it was lying on the floor. We then look a bit closer and we see that all these faces are quite different from the men's. They have not quite as strong, prominent noses and their hair is tightly curled, which was the fashion for women then. So we think that this group of people were probably all women. Even these two at the back, which look more like men, we feel that these faces and hair have been overpainted. To be absolutely sure, you'd have to use a very expensive and complicated process of reflectography, which is where you can photograph the image through the layers of paint to see what's underneath. Um, but what we're going to do is try and take tiny, tiny paint samples the size of pinheads and have them tested um, back in London to see if we can age the paint and date the picture that way. Tabernacle and the cup holding the blood of Christ, all gilded. And you see also here the accoutrements of the priests on the table here, the Bible, and the beautiful silver candlesticks would also date this painting quite accurately to the 17th century. Hi, my name is Sheila Lawson, um, and I've been coming to work at Rashall Seminary for three years. This is my third year. Um, and this year, we, well, Father Alessio has discovered um, in the piggery four paintings, three on board here, you can see. One uh, they are working on now is a picture, a painting of St. Uh, Ursula, and it's a painting on board. Then we have two, two other paint, three other paintings, two other paintings on board, and one painting here, which is a more modern painting on copper. And this painting here on copper has a very beautiful frame, which is much older than it, than it but it's, um, we will begin to clean this very soon as well. And uh, we are in the process of bringing them back to life, which means conserving, not restoring, because we want to preserve, we don't want to add. I am extremely grateful to have been invited to Goa uh, because the welcome in Rashad ceremony is unique. So thank you so much for opening the doors of this unique place, which is the, the seminary of Rashad.